Brawl News. We've got some important stuff to discuss here in this episode today. And of course, if you find anything useful, you guys know I'm always here trying to help you guys up, keeping you guys updated with the most recent and topical bits of news when it comes to Brawl Stars. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps out in a huge, huge way. We're actually getting really close to 650,000 subscribers, which then I'll be able to feed Spike. <laughs> he ain't getting no food till 650,000 subscribers, I'm telling you. Love you guys. Much love. But we're starting this episode of Brawl News off here today with some rather surprising news, I would say. Is it just me, or does it feel weird that we're talking about future updates right now in this episode? That's right, dude. A Brawl Talk is right around the corner. Things are just so shockingly fast inside of this community recently with the changes to the Brawl Pass duration. It's just hard to get used to. I mean, for goodness sakes, we're looking at a tweet from three days ago announcing the 25th season of the Brawl Pass, and we are now getting confirmation about a future update right around the corner sometime soon and we're here to discuss that dates and all that good stuff so like we said before, ever since the most recent changes to the Brawl Pass duration a few updates ago, things have been a little bit different when it comes to speculating and predicting when the next update is going to drop, i.e. when the next Brawl Talk is going to be in the contents within it. But we are now just kind of starting to pick up on some reoccurring practices or schedules that the dev team likes to keep up with when it comes to the release dates of the Brawl Talk and subsequently the update content to come which is going to help us to arrive at a date of this very next Brawl Talk, getting some of the most juicy updates, sneak peeks, and things along those lines. The most recent Brawl Talk that we had announcing the two seasons that we are kind of now starting to wrap up here, I believe has a reoccurring timeline that can be applied to this Brawl Talk's date, giving us a bit more of an accurate result of when this next Brawl Talk is going to be. What we ended up seeing from that Brawl Talk that's actually happening this time around as well, it appears, is a 12-day window of when the Brawl Talk is released and we get all the information about what's to come and then the end of the update season that we are currently transitioning away from bringing in the brand new content that was given from the Brawl Talk. Now if we apply that as well as some other things that we know when predicting Brawl Talk updates we have the ending of this most recent season 25 Brawl Pass being on May 2nd. So it will be concluding here. And if we count back 12 days, utilizing this seeming to be reoccurring schedule based on the last Brawl Talk, it will be April 20th. So a more simplified version of what I'm trying to say is the next Brawl Talk should be coming out on April 20th. So at the point that I'm recording this video, it is currently Sunday, April 7th. You guys should be seeing this tomorrow on Monday, the 8th, which means that we are less than two weeks away from this Brawl Talk. Now, if you need any other evidence when it comes to lining up Brawl Talk dates, historically here inside the Brawl Stars community, Brawl Talks have been coming out on Saturdays for like the last 20 Brawl Talks. I'm not aware of a concrete number or anything like that, but just know from my word that it comes out every single time on a Saturday. So it wouldn't make sense to have the Brawl Talk landing, you know, on the 13th or the 27th. You never know though with Brawl Stars, but very confident it should be arriving on the 20th to give us enough time for sneak peeks and all that good stuff and a little bit of a gap time before the actual arrival of the season and bringing that new content on May 2nd. Now, before we get into more heavy speculation when it comes to what's actually going to be coming out in this next update, because I believe we have some pretty juicy Easter eggs that we were already given some time ago, I'd like to kindly remind you all that just because the Brawl Talk is coming out on April 20th, that doesn't mean we're going to get more sneak peeks as time goes on. A lot of the time, like I would say a week before the Brawl Talk is supposed to come out, we get several juicy Easter egg as time goes on leading into that date, much like a day before the Brawl Talk, we get some of the juiciest sneak peeks that we get resulting in the video that I always make, breaking down the Brawl Talk thumbnail and stuff like that. But before that, we do also get other sneak peeks and stuff like that. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel. I usually cover that in its entirety. Try to make this channel that one-stop shop you guys can go to for that pre-speculation or the update coverage and like sneak peeks and all that good stuff once we get it. But then it begs the question as we transition into the speculation segment of this episode today, what is going to be coming out in this update? Do we have any Easter eggs to go off of? Do we know more about this update before we get some of the sneak peeks? And I do say so myself, we do have Easter eggs to go off of, possibly giving us an idea of what a brawl might be. I'm guessing two brawlers are coming out in the update, but getting a better idea of where they might fit in, i.e. brawler trios, 
possible themes to come out around the corner, what might make sense, and potential skins coming out as well. I'd like to kindly remind you all to a very interesting practice that the Brawl Stars dev team have been doing here recently, specifically just last update, giving us huge Easter eggs about themes and skins coming out, and that is this survey that a handful of people get this sent to them. Now, at the time, when we first got this survey, we really didn't know timeframes on how it would work out, right? We really didn't know that the skins would be in the very next update that this survey was about. For all we knew, it could have been like skins that would be planned to be released in like a few updates from now, you know what I mean? But it was surprising that we got so much juicy information for the very next season of the Bro Pass. Every single skin a part of the Sands of Time theme that we just got out of was added to the game. All of of them giving us obviously a sneak peek of the skins but also the huge theme itself now it's also kind of important to point out from this lesson learned from this survey that not all the themes from a survey and we're seeing skins develop will be applied to an update 100 percent of the time seeing that we got these good random skins in the survey that didn't make it to the game yet could still come around the corner so it's important to approach these surveys with a little bit of skepticism not like saying 100 percent certain that these skins are coming to the game if they're a part of a survey. But with that being said, it leads us into the most recent survey that we got here. We already covered this in an episode here recently on the channel, but I believe we are getting some themes that we can dive deeper into and the two seasons that I'm guessing are going to be announced within the Brawl Talk on the 20th. So for a brief recap, in the survey, we had, I believe, three potential themes being released around certain skins. We have these virus high-tech skins, one here for Charlie. We have a Fang skin. This one, I think, a little bit different than the, like, virus ones. We have, like, high-tech ones, I guess you could call it, but differentiating from the virus Charlie skin. This one looks a little bit more menacing. The other ones just look higher tech, you know, future stuff. But obviously a specific theme being expressed here, right? That I could possibly and very well see a theme being designed around, right? Now, again, it's important to approach these with a sense of skepticism based on that good random skin set, not making it to the game. Just because we're seeing these skins doesn't mean it's 100% certain that a theme is gonna be produced from these, but it has a very high potential. So with that in mind, going into the next obvious themes that we're seeing here, we have some skins designed around Mortis giving us our possible second theme that an update season could be designed around and that is more of a castle courtyard vibe or like dragon mythological once upon a brawl you know really giving us that castle courtyard vibe for the trio of ash and grom and if we continue on we see another skin for mortis here kind of getting that same vibe of this one just more like barbarian-esque but still fitting into that theme i would say dragons and wizards and fun stuff like that once again giving that castle courtyard vibe if you ask me. But then a possible third theme can be seen from the last two skins designed around Mortis here. At the time, it didn't really make this differentiation around these last two skins, but obviously this is far different from like a castle courtyard vibe. This is like devils and angels, right? Still designed around Mortis, but definitely taking a deviation here. So in my opinion, there are three possible themes being expressed from this survey and the skins being around it, right? We have devils and and angels like a castle courtyard trio vibe and like a futuristic tech vibe all i could see being a possibility for seasons coming out and possibly being announced in this next brawl talk now i think you guys can kind of see where i'm going with all of this our next speculation topic is going to be centralized around a potential brawler and what makes sense for one of i'm guessing the two newest brawlers to be arriving in this next update we've been talking a lot about the castle courtyard trio here's an updated version of of the brawler families that we have here posted by the absolute goat Wyatt Watt. He's been updating us on the trios every single time a new Brawler is released, so mad props to you, my man. But what we've kind of been seeing is a little bit of an ongoing pattern as well. It seems like the dev team likes to add two Brawlers in most updates, one of which is added to an existing trio, and then another one is added to a brand new trio. That's just kind of what we've been seeing. 
Startoon was a little bit of an exception, seeing that we got three brawlers technically around that, but we had Miko filling out the Brawlywood trio. We had Larry and Lori being added to an existing trio, the Star Hub trio, and then a brand new family was born with the Startoon trio and Miko being alone. And same thing went for this most recent update. Angelo was added to the Swamp of Love trio, and Melody made her own brand new family, the Karaoke trio. So what I think is going to go down if we're going based off of these patterns is is I'm guessing a brawler is going to be added to a trio. And the reason I think is because we've been speculating this trio getting their third brawler for like the last three updates. And it makes a lot of sense this time around as well. But the Castle Courtyard trio, I'm guessing, is going to get their third brawler being added given the situation that we saw with the skins, the Mortis Castle Courtyard vibe skins being possibly added. I could see a theme making sense being made around that. And it would be cool to see a third brawler filling out the Castle Courtyard trio here finally. But then the second brawler based on that might make their own family or maybe a new brawler fitting into an existing new trio, right? We have so many new ones only housing one brawler and still a lot with two, right? Needing to be filled out. So we'll have to wait and see on that. But where my heart is lying and where my speculation gut feeling is lying is possibly a third brawler filling out the Castle Courtyard trio. But with the Brawl Talk date and the fun speculation out of the way, next moving along to update info, that we already have, which is a bit on the smaller side of things, but hey, anything is anything when it comes to update speculation and update news. We have this tweet coming out four days ago at the point that I'm recording this video saying, you gotta decide which game mode will come with the next update right now. We had basketball, duels, and siege, bro. Man, I wish Siege didn't get so much hate. It's one of my favorite game modes. I've always had a great time with the game mode, but I feel like just the audience never really enjoyed it. But yeah, we we had a few people. We got spent out here. Siege, give me it. We got Tribe saying, give me the Siege. And for a while, I thought Siege was actually going to come through, right? Just based off of the memes. But given the track record, what we saw last time Siege was introduced to the game, it's just not a popular game mode. People don't typically vote for it. But the results were in. We had duels winning with 72% of the votes and Siege coming in second place with 20% feels bad, man. But hey, I ain't complaining. Duels is also a really, really fun game mode. I think there is a huge, huge plus whenever a solo game mode is an actual good one when it's fun, right? It's good to play Brawl Stars or have the option to play Brawl Stars alone, not needing to subject yourself to the randoms and stuff like that. Having an out to be able to just play by yourself is a great thing in this game. So I'm happy it's coming back in this next update. I'm sure it's going to be a good time. But moving along to our last segment here in this episode today with some very, very exciting stuff right around the corner. Corner. Taking a look at a tweet here from Paula saying, excited to share that I'm opening my own restaurant. April 8th, 3 p.m. EEST. Save the date and get ready to party. We have some squad busters developments here, people. It's already been over a year since we last discussed squad busters. So that is insane. But if you guys need a refresher, squad busters is a new game from Supercell that has one of the coolest ideas centralized around it, merging some of the most popular IPs that Supercell owns. We got Clash of Clans, Heyday, Boom Beach, Brawl Stars, all smack dab in one game. And I gotta say, at the time, I had a blast playing this game. Now, it's been kind of off the radar for some time now, but it appears that we are getting some attention back on it, which I cannot be more happy about, dude. The whole game itself has been memeing here on their socials for the last few days, I think teasing a very important announcement that we're about to get into here. But we had like a, a song where the chicken, I think his name is Cluck or something like that, was the singer. And it's just him clucking the whole time. It's so funny. And of course, just memes from Paula over there opening up her own restaurant and stuff like that. But leading to the big announcement from a very exciting video that we just received here today, we have Paula announcing the amazing, amazing news, bro. Squad Busters is going to be re-released a soft launch on April 23rd, bro. Let's freaking go. April 23rd, save the date. We'll be able to pick up this game yet again and have a good time for the majority of the population, right? Soft launch, it's only going to be available for certain countries, but through different means, you'll be able to download it wherever you are. 
Now, of course, being such a huge fan of this game and especially any new Supercell game, I will always give them a try. And how I first felt about this game when it was really, really new, right, was it was fun. It was a great game and I would love to cover it as well. So be prepared for some Squad Busters content on this channel. We're going to be having some fun over here with sneak peeks that are going to be coming out right around the corner and news around the game. I hope you guys really enjoy this game because I found it really enjoyable as well. We need a new Supercell game to go global. It's insane how long it's been. <laughs> Brawl Stars was the last one. And there's been so many attempts at a new game to go global. Like it's sad Clash Mini didn't end up going global, but so many different projects just failing one after another, not meeting the expectations from Supercell. It's so sad. We need to have one make it here soon, dude. I hope Squad Busters is that game. But yeah, man, that's just about all I got for you here in this episode of Brawl News. A lot to discuss, a lot always happening inside of Brawl Stars. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure to slap the like on it. I really appreciate that. And we'll be talking super soon. Adios. Take care.